Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. Hope you are doing good. Today let's see how attachments is uh, configured in Theme Cosmos application. What are the changes done by Pega over TB? And before getting to this video, I hope you have already watched my 104 video on Pega attachment part one. Before going to video, I want to share that I am available in TopMate now. So if you want some Pega career guidance or if you want some Pega mock interviews or if you want some information on interview questions, whatever it is, you can reach me personally in this top mid. You can book a video meeting with me so that uh, I can have one to one chat with you guys. So before going to the topic, let's uh, memorize one thing. So previously when uh, we are uh, using application based like not team cosmos we used to have a page called as PY attachments so all the attachments that we attach on the case those will be added as an instances to PY attachments page and uh, if you select uh, like uh, display child cases or something then uh, we would be having uh, all attachments content reference page so these two are the important uh, clipboard pages previously so in theme cosmos it has been changed so pega has brought up a class called as pega social document so this social document class is one of the important OOTB class so we see in this case you can see file and documents so previously we used to have here attach new now it has been moved to a gear icon so if you click on this gear icon you can add whatever text you want like rich text local file add existing url so what is the difference between add existing and local file and what is the background i will give you i will be giving you an overview over here so example now i want to add a uh, rich text like uh, attachments part two okay and theme cosmos ui and if i scroll down i having an option called as available to all and limited now i want to add this as available to limited when i am adding as available to limited here you can see we can choose a case type so as i don't have many case types configured so it was defaulted to the current case type so now if i click submit you can see a particular file has been created so from theme cosmos uh, the latest update uh, what pega has given is the attachments are stored under a page called as py case related info so on the clipboard under py work page you can see py case related content it's sorry it's not right info so first uh, see attachments part two so this is an instance of pega social document it's a instance of this class social document class so i can go here under social document class i can see there is an attachment for documents part two so <clears throat> previously we used to see a preview right now pega has updated like if you see here you can click on preview and you can see this is doc for this is a separate case so whatever document you are adding those are our instances of pega social hyphen document class so one like how many attachments you added those attachments will be in data instances like a class instances of the respective class suppose this is one of the image uh, if i want to open directly just I click this it will be opening the pizza dynasty see this is theme cosmos ua for example and uh, see this is one of the image i have added i just opened this you can see the image uh, can be displayed over here closing it and if you want to see preview from here you can click on preview and see that uh, source application is theme cosmos like application name and uh, this will be visible to capture account information means only respective to this case type and if you want to see history details and if you want to start a conversation on this respective document attachment you can start it and uh, there are some more features as well now i'm closing this 
and you can see here this particular document I have added as uh, limited to class. Now go to settings tab and here local file. So rich text we added local file. There is nothing much change here. So select file. I can select uh, suppose this notes attachment and this is a document instance. So I can give like part two document instance. And if you want to give some description, you can give this. Now I'm giving this as available to all, but not limited to a class. So clicking submit. Okay. Now again, I'm clicking here, going to add existing. So this add existing is so interesting one. So before this attachments part two, like uh, once again, I'm going to the instance of document. So here you can see, hello everyone. So this uh, the welcome to theme cosmos uh, world, right? This particular document, I have made it uh, to all. I can show you like your page. If I see context, you see PWA document accessible to public. So I have, as I have kept this to public, I no need to attach this document again on the case. So if you see here, add existing, if you scroll down, see this part two document uh, case means nothing but our notes I have added as, and this one, hello everyone is also there. Hello everyone. Add. Yeah, see, I have added this, hello everyone, click submit. See, total four documents have been attached. So suppose there are some documents that are needs to be attached uh, for all the cases. So user can, like we can define uh, a particular document as public. So users no need to upload every time. They can just uh, select from the category of public and they can add the attachments over here. That is very brilliant option from Pega. And uh, suppose if I'm clicking delete, what happens? So how can I delete? So if there is three icons over here. If I click delete, uh, before clicking it, there is some other important class we have to look at. That is link association document. So this link association document actually stores all the instances that are like uh, related to the case. So this uh, link association document, you can see the definition. It is having two case. One is PX ref from and another is PX link ref to. So here, if you see, there are around four, one, two, three, four instances that are already present. Now let's go and uh, delete this from this particular case. So if I click delete uh, of a document, it won't delete the instance from Pega social document. Means it won't create uh, delete the instance from this class this will create uh, unlink the association of uh, this document with this respect to case id now let's delete this so we have deleted this go to link association document refresh it so that hello everyone document is uh, unassociated with this respect to case but uh, it is still available here you can see right hello everyone so again if you want to add that add existing as it is a public one add submit and again go to association class you can refresh you can see that association is again back to this respective case so if you see here name so this is the work object class id this is document class id so these both are correlated and uh, this is the one of the most uh, important uh, class in this and you might be having doubt what about uh, old attachments so because uh, this is displaying from a data page so you have upgraded your respective environment or per instance then it should be able to display the old attachment instances also this py case related content this is a property of page list this is referred with this data page so this data page is sourced with an activity called as 
PZ case related content. So it would be first listing all the documents that are available under the PX document list and it would be appending the list from D underscore attachment list. So previously this D underscore attachment list is the source of truth for documents. So this will, this will be having instance of link attachment. So to make sure that uh, we are compatible with uh, older cases or uh, older application configuration also, Pega has uh, come up with a solution like first uh, load the results of uh, Pega social document classes, then link attachment classes. So this does not hamper our case behavior regarding attachments. And another important thing is this particular count, the number of files that are attached to the case. Previously, we used to have a list view separately where uh, Pega used to have a control separately for this account, which I will be covering in the next video. Don't miss next video because in that I will be showing what if Theme Cosmos is not there and how the application behavior is there regarding attachments. So we used to have a control where in the control we used to display the length of this. So now Bega has uh, come up with a property called as documents and file count. This uh, particular property they have written one declare expression. The declare expression is nothing but size of the property list by case related content. So you no need to worry about the count of the files. So whenever we are unlinking or we are deleting that this payway case related content uh, will be updated the page list uh, for the respect to case then the count will also be updated which is very cool feature from Pega and uh, this particular attachments and all uh, that is having uh, a flow action pz manage recent content it was uh, sorry it runs on the page context of add recent content page. This add recent content page is defined in Pega social document. That's why whatever content we are attaching on the case when our application basis theme Cosmos that runs on Pega social document. And here there is another uh, thing called as URL. Basically URL uh, whatever you define here it goes under data work attach hyphen URL class. Normally, if you want to see what are the OTB classes you that the there by Pega, you can just go for data work attach. You can see here URL, screenshot, scan document, note, file, ECU. These are all the that are there in Pega. So, example, this URL, if I want to define something, example. And uh, as it is data work attach URL, the attachment category here you can see only URL. You can click submit and see icon is updated. And if you want to see the references on the clip dot under PY case related content, might be the latest one here. Yes, see data work attach URL. And uh, this is related to link attachment class, whereas uh, the other documents and all linked to Pega social document class. So if you want, you can just go back and uh, check the instances here. You can see uh, the URL instance is not here because uh, it is still uh, routed to the old OTB classes that are there for Pega. So we are using data work attach URL. So here, I mean, this uh, related to this data page, this content, first it will be loading all this and then uh, it would be loading from data attachment list because uh, we have added uh, a URL which is related to data work attach URL. Just go to the D underscore attachment list and you can see whether this is uh, getting loaded but here you can see like first pega social document uh, results are loaded then uh, d underscore attachment list uh, details are loaded and then it is uh, sorted uh, px results are sorted with uh, might be descending order of see link create data that's why we can able to see 
this URL even though it is not part of Pega social document. In this uh, way, you can uh, use the existing uh, team Cosmos attachments, which is uh, very useful. Previously, we used to face a lot of issues uh, in attachments. So this is really a good update in Pega. Might be many people are already started using it, but for the newcomers, it will be a good end-to-end -end explanation about uh, the new managed content feature in Pega. And not only that, uh, if you click here, select files. Previously, we used to get a drop down where uh, we can actually, you know, uh, select the attachment category and all. Now that attachment category is not there. Uh, that's why we are not uh, sorting out anything because everything goes under Pega social document that we attach on the case. And here, uh, previously we used to give a memo now we, it has been updated with the name and uh, if you want to give some description suppose this is a passport details example you can give like this is passport details of so and so customer and this is what uh, the story behind it and if you want to limit the case as i already show you the example between all and limited it is a very useful feature hope you have understood this concept uh, all if I miss anything on this uh, respect to attachments wizard or something, please feel free to comment on this. And uh, please don't miss attachments part 3. And watch part 1 as well, which is very useful uh, to understand better about attachments. Thanks for watching this video. Hope you like this content. As it is free of course, please share, like, comment and subscribe to my channel. Share your knowledge as well in comments.